Good evening, everybody, and welcome tonight on RTC TV4. We've got Rochester Zebras football action back after a two-week COVID pause. Here at Barnhart Field tonight, hosting the Northfield Norse big TRC matchup. You can see Northfield comes in with a 4-2 and two mark, 4-1 and one in conference play. They do have a win over Southwood under their belt. For the Zebras, they were uh, rolling good coming into that pause right before the Bell game. They were 3-1 and one after starting off 0-1. Oh they had won three in a row, including 2-1 and one in conference play. So we'll see how this goes here tonight. If they can get back in the uh, groove right out of the gate, it's going to be a very tough one for them. Coming up with the 4-2 and two Northfield Norse, we're going to join WROI, Randy and Ray coming up here in a minute with the pregame. Glad you could tune in tonight on RTC TV4. Hope you enjoy it. Still have a few minutes as well to uh, come in if you're on your way to the game. The Ken Hughes Benefit Dinner. They've got a tent set up on the west side of the bleachers in between the uh, bleachers and the new uh, weight room. And you can uh, chips and a drink and a pulled pork sandwich. I had one myself. And it was very tasty, and uh, come in and help out Coach Ken Hughes with some medical expenses uh, here and uh, enjoy a good TRC matchup with the Zebras and the Northfield Norse. Thanks for tuning in. Put my offense on the, uh, out there first. Make, make Northfield stop you. So I, I know, you know we've seen that a lot. Most schools defer that, but I think we saw the yeah. last game we did um, – which I can't remember. It's been two weeks ago. No, we did the casting game. Casting game. They, they, they took ca it. Ca they they yep. accepted it and, and took, took it, it right and drove yep. it down and took yep. took a lot of time off the clock. So, so yeah, we'll wait and see what uh, what is going through the mind of Coach Schaefer as uh, the uh, zebras come through the big zebra head. As uh, again. Uh, a couple of years ago, that got brought by uh, Steve Moore Insurance Agency, and and the, the football dads put that up every night and, or every Friday night. That's kind of cool, as well. So uh, the zebras run through it, and they're on the field. We're waiting on Northfield, and then we will have the uh, the national anthem. And it looks like we're going to have a big flag on the field tonight yeah. by the uh, student section. So, will that zebra fit in the gym? Uh, I. For the it, basketball team, right it fit in the gym, but it'd probably take up probably <laughs> half the court, and we'd have to uh, delay the game while it got deflated, and the smoke coming out of Zebby's nostrils would probably smoke everybody out, set the fire alarms off, and I'm sure Chief Butler wouldn't like that very well. So, you know, it, it has its pros, but yeah, I think the cons outrun that one. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Homecoming 2021 here at Rochester High School. Northfield coming out on the field now. And as soon as the uh, Zebra Pep Band is done playing the school song, we'll have the national anthem. We'll go through the starting lineups for you tonight for the uh, Northfield Norris. They're going to start at left tackle Copeland. Uh, left guard will be Higgins. Center is Osborne. Right guard will be Buzzard. Right tackle Martin. Wide receiver will be Ross. Tight end Randall. And the fullback will be Gosher. The running backs will be Fisher and Kinsey. And the quarterback tonight for the Northfield Norse will be number two, Jake Holderman. Starting lineups being brought to you by Manitou Moose Family Fun Center, number 1107. Come out and enjoy family fun. For the Zebras, we expect uh, pretty much the same as we've had. But time now for the National Anthem. We'll take a break. We'll come back. We'll get those starting lineups for you after this. You're listening.
Hopkins. And the captains will be meeting at midfield. A big night here at Rochester High School. Uh, not only homecoming, but uh, cheerleaders were collecting for uh, the animal shelter, staff appreciation, homecoming. Uh, zebras honoring breast cancer awareness for October as well, wearing the pink socks. A lot, a lot of activity here tonight. It is. It's going to be really interesting to see how the, the guys respond to that. Because now it's, look how you, you're in the... You're in the grass, so now you got to put your mindset in you know, during the pregame and everything, and uh, it'd be really interesting to see how they, they respond to this, uh, the, the, like, like Coach said, this first quarter. Well, before we get going too much farther, I've got to give the shout-out to uh, B-Shift listening tonight at the fire station. Uh, Jamie, Jay, there you go. There's your shout-out. Hope you're happy. Zebras won the toss. They will defer to the second half. Coach Schaefer is going to put the defense on the field. Northfield will accept it, and they'll uh, have an offense first as uh, both teams take a knee and uh, have a little prayer at midfield. As we get ready to go here tonight, again, the starters for the Rochester Zebras, more than likely, obviously, you'll see Aaron Swang go, the quarterback, and then you're going to see uh, Peyton Luna. You're going to see Strasser in there. You're going to see Fervita. Uh, as they spread out, you're also going to see uh, Samsel, Regan. They spread out. You're going to see some Wesley Mitnos. It's going to be interesting to see tonight, yeah. too. Obviously, Northfield knows Deming is the workhorse for the Zebras. Tonight, last time we saw them, they did a good mix. They mixed it up a little bit, uh, did the Zebras. We'll see if that happens again tonight. Yeah, but it'll be, it'll be, it'll be interesting to see how we, uh, we do that tonight. We did, we did a really nice job, I think, there. Teams are start, we're starting to key a little bit, so now we uh, should be you know halfway through the season here and should be ready for that. And uh, the only thing I looked at, Northfield has like 23 guys on the sidelines total. Yeah. So they got 11 on the field. They got like a lot of 12 on the sidelines, and then eight of them go both ways. So we'll see if this pace, you know, it, it's paid bit, a benefit <coughs> for us as games gone on, where we're, we've kind of worked some teams out. Okay, so we are getting ready to go. This kickoff is going to be brought to you by Oil Change Express for the carrier cart deserves. That's Oil Change and Express. Also, i got to give a shout-out to the guy that's working for me, Michael Hicks and Don Orr, also at the fire station. I don't want to forget those guys. There's your shout-out. Coach Davis, we're ready to go. What do you think? So it's I'd like to, this, you know, it'd be interesting to see, because he's been, he was really kicking really well during, see, let's see if he can put a little bit deeper than what he's been doing. Parker Wallace to kick for the Zebras. Low line drive kick, it'll hit about the 20, it'll go right into the hands of the Northfield Norse. They pick it up into the 30 to 40, he's got one man to beat, and he does across the 50, he's on his horse at the 20, 10, 5, touchdown Northfield, that is Mason Fisher, Picked it up at about the 15-yard line. He goes 85 yards for the touchdown on the kickoff. That that's, will deflate the balloon very quickly for the Zebras. Yeah, that's not way how you wanted to start the game. So, so with 11:46 to go in the first quarter, the 85-yard kickoff return. Or Mason puts them up 6 nothing. They'll try the extra point, and that is Easton Shaw. Shaw, the 5'9 freshman, will do the kicking. Here's the snap as the uh, Shaw takes his time to get ready. Now the snap, the hold is down, the kick is up, and it is good. And just like that, it's 7 to nothing now, Northfield, and the Zebra offense will get to be the first offense on the field as uh, they'll come back after the kickoff. 11.46 to go in the opening quarter on the Inyards True Value scoreboard. Zebra 0, Northfield 7. Back with more after this. Northfield up 7 to nothing. Zebras will get back and get ready to receive the kickoff. 
I, I guess the only thing to do, hopefully now, is they can do the same thing and we'll t- tie this thing back up. Yeah. <laughs> Kickoff being brought to you again by Oil Change Express for your care your car deserves. And I guess the other, well, other way to look at it, didn't take much time off the clock. No. <laughs> Zebra's getting a lot of time back for them. Still 11.46 to go here in the open quarter. And back deep is Fervida and Messinas. It'll go to Fervida. Fervida at the 10. Fervida. Cuts it back up the middle. He's got a seam, and then he runs into a wall as he gets ready to 30. Tried to cut it back too far. I think if he yeah. would have kept coming to the sideline, he might have had an open field. But instead, the Zebras will have it first and 10 from their own 30 here and their first possession of the contest. Yeah, it, it's it's like he could hit that gap on just about two steps a little bit quicker. I think he would have had, he had a really good chance to return that for a touchdown also. Randy Wayne, Ray Davis, glad you could join us here tonight for high school football. Beautiful night at Barnhart Field. Week number six. Crazy. We are just talking. The draw coming up here in a, in a week from this Sunday. Swango up under center. Swango goes right back up the middle to Deming, and he goes for maybe a yard. The side judge on the star here. Yep, they'll give him a yard. It'll be second down and nine now for the Zebras. Yeah, but you can kind of see there the, the interior guys, all, they, they just all went to Deming, and, uh, and the outside guys kind of try to control that, the outside edge if they could, but they didn't really have to worry about it on that play. Second and nine for the Zebras. As they bring, that's 85 is Samsel. And the handoff this time goes around the left side to Slosher. He tries. Nope, oh, that was Lunau. Sorry, my apologies. Lunau. And Lunau will pick up 10 yards and get another Zebra first down. First one of the night, I should say. First down yeah. being brought to you to this season by Rice Lincoln of Warsaw. 250 North across from Walmart. That's Rice Lincoln. First down. Got a score already. Score already. Winamax 7, West Central 0. 7-0. Seven Thanks, Coach Ruff. First down and 10 now for the Zebras. The handoff goes around the left side, and he's not going to go very far, and I believe, was it Lou now? No, but I think it was Deming. Was it Deming? Deming, he and he does lose yeah. the yard. So it'll be second well, and 11 back at the 40. And you can kind of see, I think, the, you know, the, the uh, philosophy tonight might be don't let Deming beat us. If yeah. Make somebody else right. do it. Second and 11 now for the Zebras. 9-50 to, to go here in the opening quarter. They already trail 7-0 after the kickoff return touchdown. There's a, there's a blitz up the middle. Lunau with the handoff. He'll get back to the 40. And it'll bring down third and 10 now for the Zebras. <laughs> They're stunting those middle linebackers. Yeah, they are. This yep, zebra line is going to have to uh, really, really tighten up here. Is is they're putting the pressure? Northfield's bringing the pressure out of the box. Yeah, a lot of times what what teams will do if, if they know they're going to stunt their linebackers a lot, they'll, they'll narrow their splits down so that they can't shoot that gap as easy as as maybe what what they normally do. Zebras will bring Messinas to the near side, and in the slot is McKee. Fervida goes in motion. They fake. Swango turns around, throws it over the top, and it's going to be complete to Griggs, but he goes nowhere, and it's back back to the 40, and the Zebras will have fourth and long now, and we'll have to punt it away. Zebras trying uh, a little uh, trickery there. It's faked the handoff and then tried to turn around and throw it. Northfield had nothing to do with that. Yeah, but it was a, it was a setup to be a screen there on the outside, and Northfield did a really good job of reading that. Colton Fervita back to punt for the Zebras, standing at the 30 is Mason for Northfield. He's dangerous. He's already proved that. Fervita will punt it away from his own 31. Over the head of Mason this time, and he'll pick it up again at the 15. And then he's going to be tripped up. He'll get back to the 20, and that's where Northfield offense will take over. As that punt that time did a great job, went over the top of Fisher. Yep, 45-yard punt there with a five-yard return. 
So the Zebras defense now will get their first opportunity. And Northfield's offense. We'll see them for the first time with 8.15 to go here. Already leaving, leading Northfield's leading 7-0 on the Inyards True Value scoreboard. Yeah, we're, we're facing another quarterback that's like 6-1. 6-1, 2 They can see, see deep. Halderman will bring this squad set up under center. He's got a lone set back behind him. Halderman puts a man in motion. The handoff goes right back up the middle. Now they kick it outside, and he'll get back to the original line of scrimmage. And it's, was that Goshert? Can't. Was that 25 Goshert? Yes, I think it was. Yes, it is. Goshert with the carry that time, second and 10, got back to the line of scrimmage. Yeah, forced him out of the where he wanted. Yeah. Zebra line, good job there. Coming to the near side right now, he split out is 81 Snyder. Gosh, goes in motion, kept up by Halderman. Halderman turns it back up the field. He's across the 30, and he's still on his feet and finally going to be brought down at about the 35. Great tackle that There's time a flag. by Slosher, but we do have a penalty flag. It's going to be holding, holding against Northfield. Flag is thrown at the 35, so it'll march it back 10, and it'll be at the 25. It's going to bring up second down and about five now for Northfield after the penalty. So, yeah, so got five yards out of the play. But he, that, it must have been very obvious because the, the <laughs> official here at the back, he was like, he, yeah. couldn't, he couldn't grab it quick <laughs> enough. But he did a nice job of, there, of, of, of reading that option play there and, and turned it up there. So, we're going to have to <laughs> kind of watch that. Alderman again up under center. Ross to the top of the stack for the Norris. The handoff goes around to Fisher. Fisher turns it back up. Mason Fisher still on his feet and finally going to be brought down at about the 44-yard line, and that's enough for a Rice-Lincoln first down. And he did a nice job of, of kind of missing, you know, making them miss the tackles there after he, after he broke the line of scrimmage. So it'll be first and 10 now for the Northfield Norse at their own 44-yard line. Clock continues to roll with 6.50 to go here in the opening quarter. Northfield up 7 to nothing. You can see right now that, you know, the way Fisher runs the ball, if we don't, we don't grab him for, you know, right at the line, he'd he give us some trouble if he gets deep. Halderman fakes the hand off to Fisher, and then it goes to Goshert, and Goshert will go nowhere. They're going to get him back to the line of scrimmage. It'll be second and 10. Yeah, that's his second carry in zero yards. So we've done a really good job of that interior. We, now we just got to maybe, you know, as Coach was talking about getting through this first quarter of, of what they like to do. Second and ten now from the 44 for the Northfield Norris. As they take their time in the huddle, they break it with 15 on the play clock. 6.05 to go in the opening quarter. They split Ross to this near side. Alderman up under center, sends a man in motion. Goes to Gosher again. Yep. Gosher goes back to, uh, oh, he gets about, about three. three or four on that yeah. one. I'm going to give him three. It'll be third and seven. Yeah, and, and the thing that's kind of, you know, a little bit different for, you know, our defense is they're, they're set up in that veer still, but that fullback is about a yard behind the quarterback. He's yeah. not very far back off of that. So when, when they hike the ball, he's hitting that line pretty quick. Third down for Northfield. Holderman brings it set. Yeah, that's a tight formation right now for Northfield. Back to throw. Holderman over the top, and it's incomplete. Almost picked off. Lunau almost had it, a diving catch as just a little, yep. little quick throw that time by Halderman, but it was incomplete, tipped by his own player almost in the hands of the Zebras. And it was a nice job by our defensive line of getting in, getting into the backfield there and then also getting their hands up to make him to throw that a little bit higher than what he wanted to. Clock stops at 513 on the incomplete. It's now fourth and about six or seven, and Northfield will go for it just shy of midfield. Yeah, watch the jet sweep here. Halderman. Fisher goes in motion, and penalty flags come, and 
Oh, no, procedure no. against Northfield. Now they'll maybe rethink about that punt this yep. time. We'll see what they opt to do as it now is fourth and 11, this time from the 43. Yeah, and they did bring in two new guys. So I, I'm guessing they're going to go ahead and punt it. Looks and like it's... Uh, nope, they're going to go for it. Holderman still up under center. No. Nope. nope, now they're splitting it. Yep. Okay. And it looks like... Different punter. We'll see who it is. I think it's Gosher. That is Gosher. Yeah, so you got to watch the fake. Uh, a rugby style kick, and, then, and it will go out of bounds. And the Zebras will take over. We'll see where they go to put it. The officials will line it up. And it'll be at the 20, 26 yard line. Yeah, about 27 yard. 26, 27 yard line. Yep. Yeah, that's the problem with Gosher being the, the punter there. It was yeah. a rugby style, but he still, I don't think he thought he was going to kick it until he did kick it because he was still looking. If he could find a gap, he was going to take it. Yeah, I think he, I think he has that option. I mean, it's kind of like, okay, I'm going, I'm, going, I'm going to do that rugby style, and if I see I can, I can get the first down, he just tucks it and goes. Whitco 7, Manchester nothing. As the Zebras take over first and 10, Swango to Fervida. Fervida kicks it outside, and he'll get across the 30. That's kind of the same thing. He's, he, once he makes the decision to get outside, he's got to, he, he's got to go. He's, he's got to attack. He's got the speed to be able to get outside there. And it's kind of like what, you know, over the years I've heard coaches talk about, about quit, don't dance. Make your decision and go. And, and, and when he's done that, we, we've seen him get, get some big yards for the Zebras. 14 nothing now, Winnemag over uh, West Central. Swango up under center. Swango to Fervita again. Fervita right back to the line of scrimmage. It's going to be third down and about six for the Zebras. Right now, Zebras just looking for something to get them going, and they, they get two or three yards, but they haven't been able to get a, a, a big Play. Yeah, it's that it, it's it's getting as, as coach talked about in the pregame. It's getting back to that game speed. Yes, people say, well, don't you do that in practice? Well, it's 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 just different. But you, the coaches can say all they want about you got to play game speed, you got to practice at game speed. But until you get back against somebody different, right. you've got to be able to, to handle that. Clock rolls under four minutes to go in the opening quarter. Zebras down seven to nothing. McKee goes in motion. Swango rolls out to his left, going to throw it, throws it, and as he's hit, it's going to be an incomplete pass. Nobody said it. Nobody. Yeah, the official. In the, okay. He blew the whistle. Just yeah. It was a little slow whistle. It'll be a fourth and long now for the Zebras, and uh, Coach Schaefer will bring in the punting crew. Fervita will be back to punt. It's kind of like the, the officials kind of looked at each other like, yeah, uh, is that incomplete or? So it'll be four. I was going to say it should be fourth and six. Ball sitting just on the other side of the 30 as they get ready to punt it away for over the back. Mason Fisher stands at his 39-yard line. And we have stoppage delay a game against the Zebras. So a five-yard penalty. Baltimore Ravens fans everywhere are wondering, what's that? <laughs> So they'll march it off, and now it'll be fourth and 11 as Fervin is still back to punt. Now that just moves Mason Fisher inside his 40 now. Just barely gets the punt away, and it'll take a zebra roll, and it'll go out of bounds at about the 42-yard line. And that's where Northfield will take over a first and 10 from their own 42. Opportunity to tell you about some of our sponsors. Culligan of Fulton County, Better Water, Pure and Simple. First Federal Savings Bank. They don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best. Fulton County Best One Tire, the most important person to them is you. RTC Communications, phone, cable, and internet. Shepherd Chevrolet Buick GMC of Rochester, where they always treat you like family. And Fulton County REMC, making a better tomorrow since 1936. Yeah, right now, you know, through, the, through this first quarter so far, they've got five carries for 27 yards. So we've done a pretty good job. We just got, we, we can't give up the big plays. So first and 10 for Northfield. Number in 1A, number one, Indianapolis Lutheran 7, Monrovia 0. Thanks, Coach Ruff. That's just for Coach Davis. Hey. 
Straight up the middle was Goshard, and he gets to the there. 45. He'll pick up three. It'll be second and seven. Way to go, Jake. Jake, way, way, way to grab that, that score. Yeah. Peru 7 nothing over Southwood. Thanks, Val. So, again, we, you know, right now, Northfield's just kind of been, you know, just pounding the ball up the middle, up yeah. the middle. And then, let's see if they try to maybe get, get something outside here. Maybe that, that option again. Second and seven. Right back up the middle this time, and that's going to be kept by Holderman, and he will barely get back to the line of scrimmage and fall forward for a yard pickup. It'll be third and about six now for Northfield. Yeah, but again, there they did. They ran the option play, but that, but that time he did a better job of pinching down on, on the quarterback. 2.40 to go in the opening quarter. Still Zebra's trail, something nothing off the kickoff of the game return by okay. Mason Fisher, 85 yards. And then both teams have just kind of stalled from that offensively. Holderman up under center. Fisher goes in motion. Holderman rolls to his right, looking to throw. Throws it on the run, and it is complete. Out to number 29, that's Jackson Pease. Pease turns it upfield and going to be finally forced out of bounds. Down near the 20-yard line, up 25-yard line, they're going to say is where he stepped out of bounds. Big pickup for Pease that time, and it'll be a Rice-Lincoln first down for Northfield. 2-11 2-11 on the Inyards True Value scoreboard. Here to go before the end of the first quarter. Yeah, there, we, we had a miscommunication there, uh, there in the secondary or the linebackers. Holderman up again, up under center. Sends a man in motion. Holderman keeps it on the option, flips it out, and into the end zone goes Northfield, and that's going to be number 29, Pease. Yep. And a 24-yard touchdown run for Pease. And it was that option play again. They, yeah. they you know, they ran Gosh up the middle. Quarterback kept it, and then he, he he pitched it, and we didn't have that contain out there. They'll come out for the PAT, and it'll be number 10, Easton Shaw, the freshman. To try to put up two scores for Northfield. Rainy Wayne Ray Davis from Barnhart Field is Shaw gets set. Here's the snap. And the hold is down. The kick is up, and it is good. So a 2.03 to go here in the first quarter. It is Northfield 14, Zebras 0 on your in your true value scoreboard. Back with more after this. Giant FM. 92.1 92.1 WROI and Giant and RTC TV4. Back here at Barnhart Field, this scoring drive being brought to you by Rochester Ford, home of the lifetime oil change. Northfield goes four plays, 58 yards, capped off by a 24 yard run by Pease on the option quarterback option on my Holderman and the PAT was good and the Northfield Norse are now up 14 and nothing on the Inyards True Value scoreboard. Yep, we just got to get, you know, you know, coach he talked about this in the pregame about being ready to play the first quarter because when you haven't played for 2 weeks. Yeah. So it'll be kickoff time and it'll be brought to you by Oil Change Express. Back deep is Fervida. He'll take it at about the 10-yard line. Fervita comes to the near side, cuts it back towards the middle, and he'll go down about the 29-yard line, and that's where the Zebras will take over first and 10 with their second possession of the quarter with 155 to go here before the end of the quarter. They'll have it first and 10 from the 29. Yeah, but like you know, as as we've seen right now, what Northfield's doing is their interior line is like, you guys be responsible for Alex Deming. Yeah, and we'll have the linebackers and, and the the defensive backs be responsible for everybody two else. Carries, so, two carries, two carries for zero yards. Swango up under center. Swango back to Deming this time. Deming 
Hits the hole hard, and he'll fall forward for about three yards. It'll be second and seven now for the Zebras. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it takes a while for Alex to right. get back into it. I it mean, it's, it's people game speed and hitting hard and meeting these guys. I mean, obviously, Northfield is focused on him. He knew, they knew. Uh, so, you know, they're, they're bringing two or three guys in up the middle. And if you look at their defensive line, that the middle is, is, is responsible for the linebackers. Yep. I mean, again, goes nowhere. And it'll be third and about six, seven, excuse me, four zebras. Zero yards that time for Deming. Third and seven for the zebras from their own 32 with 60 seconds to go here in the quarter. And watch, watch Northfield here. They're probably going to, you know, the last time we were in a passing situation, they stunned their two middle in the middle linebackers. Third and a seven. Samsel comes to the near side. Swango keeps it. Swango around the right side, and he'll get a yard. Yes. And it'll be fourth and six now for the Zebras, and Fervita will come in to punt. Mason Fisher will drop back. He'll stand. Looks like he's going to stand near the 50, but we'll do that coming up to start the second quarter. At the end of one quarter, it's Rochester 0, Northfield 14 on the In Your True Value scoreboard. Back with more high school football. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV. Scoring updates at the end of the first, it's Waco over Manchester 7 to nothing. Peru leads Southwood 7 to nothing. Last report is Winnemac over West Central 14 to nothing. Here at Barnhart Field, it's Northfield 14, Zebras nothing as we get ready to start the second quarter. And it'll be, again, Fervita punting off. Fervita will kick it, and it'll take by Fisher. He waves for the fair catch, and it'll be at the 35-yard line. So that's where Northfield will take over. There's a flag. Oh, we do have a late flag at about the 39-yard line, and we're going to have a holding call. We'll wait and see as the officials gather. Holding against the Zebras. No, it's against, yeah. Oh, okay. Against Northfield. Well, he's first in the case yeah. of the Zebras. But he must have forgot we were changing sides. So we'll, we'll march it further back as the holding against Northfield, and that'll march it just inside the uh, 20, outside the 25, I should say, at the 26-yard line. First and 10 for Northfield with 11.55 to go here in the first half. Yeah, that was nothing. That, that was their third penalty of the game for, 20, for 25 yards in penalties. So Holderman will bring the squad back set to the line. Up under center. He's got Ross split to the near side. Alderman puts a man in motion. Alderman, the handoff goes right back up the middle. I'm going to guess Gosher. Gosher, yes. And Gosher picks up about seven. It'll be second and three. Yep, that's one thing we've got to do is we got you got to stay with your with your um, responsibilities. If if you're if you're to take the running back, take that run back every time, and don't worry about if he's going to keep it or, or pitch it. Halderman does a nice job on that option because sometimes yep. you can't tell if he's uh, yeah, getting that, rid of it or if he keeps that it. That fullback is, like I said, it's about a yard <laughs> off, and, and, and he gets so low that it's kind of hard to see if that ball is – if he has or, or doesn't have it. Halderman up under center. They, Halderman keeps it this time, comes around the right side. He breaks a tackle, finally going to be brought down in midfield, almost into zebra territory. They're going to mark it right at the 50, but that's another Rice-Lincoln first down as Halderman – I thought he handed that one off, and he ended up yep. keeping it. He does a great job of faking it, too, because he kind of delays a little bit after he fakes the handoff, trying to uh, sucker the defense into yep. thinking that he did hand it off. And the one thing that they do really really well is Goshrick, he, he, he carries that, that fake yeah. out yeah. I mean, like he has the ball. So at the 50-yard line, first and 10, Northfield. Man goes in motion. Handoff is to Goshert. 
Right up the middle, five. he'll pick up five yards. It'll be second and five now. Gives him uh, six carries for 17 yards. I mean, they've got, they've got four guys, 22 yards, 24 yards, 17 yards, 24 yards. <laughs> so it's pretty, right now, they're very balanced. They're very balanced right now. Coming to the line, Halderman. You get a tight formation. Halderman hands it off, and it goes to Goshert again, and Goshert will fall forward for about three more. They'll bring up third and two. But, yeah, like, like we talked about, it just comes down to three. doing – Doing your responsibility of, of taking the you know if it's, it's if it's the, if it's a ring back if that's your responsibility that's what you all you have to worry about. Third and about two maybe three if you stretch it here for Northfield up under center Halderman barks out the calls sends a man in motion keeps it looks to throw it and he's going to be sacked in the backfield. Sack in the backfield, and that is a Big Mac sack attack. I'm not. As the, are they going to no, rule the sack? No. Incomplete? Incomplete oh. pass. Oh, he threw it forward, so it's going to be an incomplete pass. Whew. Northfield coaching staff started to argue, but he said, no, it's incomplete. I'm not sure it was. I'm not. Yeah. At least from our advantage, we didn't see the arm go forward. Yeah. The the head official saying he saw the uh, arm go forward. And Northville will take a timeout because the play clock was down to zero. As he gets a timeout, we'll take one as well. 9.35 to go on the Inyards True Value scoreboard. It's Northfield 14. Zebras nothing. Back with more after this. You're listening to High School Football, Giant FM Sports, and RTC. Timeout as there was some confusion whether it was an incomplete pass or was it a fumble, or was it a sack. Northfield's play clock was down to zero, so they yep. take the timeout. And it's fourth down, and they're going for it. Fourth and about three. And Holderman keeps it, falls forward into the Zebra defense. He reached for it. On the reach, he got it, but the, the guy over here, he's not going to give it to him. I don't think neither one of them is going to give it to him. It's going to be a turnover on downs. The official jumps right in and says, nope. Zebras will take it first and 10 from the 40-yard line, just the other side of the 40. Great defensive stop that time by the Zebras. Hopefully maybe yep. that will start charging something. It does because I think what, the reason why they didn't give him on the reach is because I think his knee was, knee down, was already and down, and then he, he, yeah. he, he, reached the ball, he reached the ball forward. So the ball is down at the 40. It will be first and 10 for the Zebras as Swango comes to the side and gets the play from Coach Schaefer. Swango will bring the cl club set. 9.29 to go before halftime. Zebras would love to get – the goose egg off the board here before halftime. Swango up under center. Sends a man in motion. Swango back to throw. Throws a little lob pass over the top. Completes to Lunau. And it was good for about a three-yard pickup. It'll be second and seven. That was his uh, third pass of the game. I think you're going to, unfortunately, have to see the Zebras maybe go to that a little bit more to try to open up that middle as Northfield really just hammering in on that middle uh, as, as Deming and those try, guys try to drive that home. Yeah, you just got to kind of you know, open some things up. Swango, again, Lunau in motion, fakes it to him. Goes to throw it. He's hit as he throws it, and it is caught. And it is caught, completed by Slosher, and it's at the 35-yard line. Warsaw, excuse me, that is a link, Warsaw, Rice, Lincoln of Warsaw, I'll spit it out. First down for the Zebras, and Swango took a hit as he threw that thing. He did, and that was ended up being about a 22-yard pass. Great catch by Schlosser. He was covered up, and he went up for it, and he came down with it. Swango. Up the two. That is Fervida with it. Fervida is nope, that's gonna, not, that was a late uh, hit coming. That was Lunau. Oh, was that Lunau? Okay. Yeah. As it turned, it looked like seven. But, yeah, Lunau with a great run and a flag coming in at the end. I have a feeling it's going to be a late hit on Northfield. It's enough for a first down, and then we'll see what they do. Yep. Help. Targeting. 
against Northfield. That should be a 15-yarder. And that'll put the Zebras inside the red zone. Being brought to you by Farm Credit Mid-America. Securing your future of rural communities and agriculture. That'll put the ball down at about the 10-yard line. First and goal for the Zebras. You can tell tell right now we've got a little bit of pep in our step with that completed pass. Actually, it's going to be first and 10. They're going to mark it about the uh, twelve. Swango up under center again, sends a man in motion. Swango, the handoff in the back to Deming, and Deming is met at the line of scrimmage. He'll go nowhere. It'll be second and ten. Yeah, you're, you're definitely right with that, that pass. As Swango was hit as he threw it, Slosher was tied up as he caught it. So a great play by both ends. And, yeah, the Zebras uh, have a little life here offensively. And Coach Schaefer wants a timeout as well. Not happy with something he sees, and he'll adjust that. We'll take one with 7.44 to go here in the second quarter on the Inyards True Value scoreboard. Northfield 14, Zebras 0 on the Inyards True Value scoreboard. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV 4. After the Zebra timeout, they'll have it second and a 10. Swango up under center, sends Messinas to the near side. McKee goes in motion. The handoff to Deming around the left side. Deming finally has some room, and he's going to be down near the five. That'll bring up third and about four now for the Zebras. Yeah, and this is going to be this is two down territory. Oh, yeah, you got two more, definitely. As Swango brings the play in from the sideline. You can see on that play there, they, they had Deming run off a little, a little bit more around the guard and tackle gap than they did it inside. Swango, again, up under center. McKee in motion again. Deming around the left side. Deming is down at the one-foot yard. Marker and it'll be a first down by Rice Lincoln, and it'll be first and goal now for the Zebras. That's our fourth first down unofficially. But like I said, what they've done, they've now they've taken Alex and they've moved yeah. him a little bit out that side that where that guard tackle gap is. Doesn't give Northfield the the the, the open area that they had there in the middle yeah. where they were stunting the stunting those linebackers at. Swango again up under center. And a false start. That'll put, the, they're going to call it on the Zebras. So it'll put them back five yards. It'll be sec, or first down and goal from the six. That was not, yeah, I'm not sure what that was. Fervita was kind of offset from Deming. Not a wing T look. Yeah. So now we're back to the wing tee look. Messina's split. McKee goes in motion. Deming gets it again around the left side. Deming will fall forward, and he's going to be marked down inside the five, down around the three, maybe the four. Give him two yards on that. A couple yards pickup. Zebras will have it second and goal from the four. I think he maybe maybe you run him right side this time. You kind of run him left side, yeah. or the, you've also got McKee counter. that comes in motion a lot. The handoff around the right side this time. Dimming, he's hit at the line. He'll lunge forward for about a yard pickup. It'll be third and goal now for the Zebras. It's going to say either a, yeah, either actually, like you said a counter or yeah. McKee, throwing it to McKee. He comes in motion. Right. Like the, a couple different yeah, times and, there. And, and the thing, thing there with that play, that they, they put Fervita kind of in that gap, 
Deming got to the hole quicker than Furby could get yeah. there and try and block. <laughs> Five and a half to go here before halftime. Zebras threatening. Third and goal from the two. Messina comes to the near side, almost to the sideline. And Swango looks over and calls a timeout because the clay clock was about down to zero. It'll give me another opportunity to tell you about Smith Farm Store, serving farm and home since 1971. Smith Sawyer Smith Insurance, insurance bonds and wealth management. Woodlawn Hospital, where care and compassion meet. Manitou Moose Family Fun Center, number 1107. Come out and enjoy family fun. The Insulation Guys, your hometown certified insulation service provider. Rice Lincoln of Warsaw, 250 North across from Walmart. And by Rochester Ford, home of the Lifetime Oil Change. All proud supporters of Zebra football all season long. 521 to go on the Inyards True Value scoreboard. Zebras trail 14 to nothing, but are threatening here with third and goal from the two. And obviously, definitely two down territory. Like you say, four down territory. You got two more plays here to get two yards. Yeah, but this is really big. For, this would be big for our conference going to half because if we can score here, you know, with about how much time is left? 520. 520. So and then hold them and maybe get a chance to score. Begin, but we also get the ball. The second we get the half. ball. The second half. Yeah. So, so this could be this could be really big for us. A big confidence building also. Swango up under center. Samsel split to the near side. Handoff comes around the left side. They're going to stretch it out. Deming tiptoes in the end zone. Touchdown. Yep, good job by McKee. I, I was waiting for him to. I was waiting for him to cut in. He kept going yeah. wide. McKee with a touchdown. Yeah, he, I thought he was going to go out of bounds before he tucked it in. Five seventeen to go here. A two-yard run by Gavin McKee. And the PAT coming now by. Parker Wallace. Yep. Snap, the hold, and it is up and good. Zebras on the scoreboard with 517 to go here in the opening half. Now 14 to 7 on your in your true value scoreboard. Back with more after this. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV. And Barnhard Field, the Zebras strike. 5.17 to go here in the first half. Two-yard run by McKee. The scoring drive goes nine plays, 60 yards. Scoring drive brought to you by Rochester Ford, home of the lifetime oil change. So getting ready to kick off for the Zebras after the touchdown will be Mitchell Schaefer. Again, Mason Fisher back deep for Northfield. Schaefer, a little squib kick, touched, and the Zebras fall on it. They hit the lineman at the 40. Northfield says they have it. They do. Uh, and guess who was in there? Goshert. Goshert. Goshert was at the end up at the bottom of the pile. Boy, great job by Schaefer. He hit the lineman in the hands. And that was Higgins. And unfortunately, yeah. Goshert's with speed. He just dove in there, yeah, I think. And, and people don't, you know, yeah. when you're in the bottom of that pile, there's a lots of things that go on in the bottom of that pile. <laughs> <laughs> so it'll be uh, Northfield football. First and 10 from the 44-yard line. Big zebra stop here. Holderman gives it to off Goshert. to Goshert. And uh, I think Halderman still had it two yards as Goshen was still running and finally gave it up, and it'll be a six yard or four-yard pickup, second and six now. Yeah, but it's kind Northfield. of a read. That he puts that in Goshert's, you know, in that pocket there, yeah. and he just kind of reads it, and Goshert, if he's, I think if he doesn't feel any pressure with being tackled, he just takes it from 18. him and keeps going. Eight. Woo. Big scoring going on. And breaking loose is Halderman. Halderman gets down into Zebra territory. It's a 41. That's a Rice Lincoln first down. Timon Valley leads 8 0 over McConaughey. I 
Yeah, first and 10 yeah. now for Northfield. 420 to go here in the first half. Halderman again up under center. Pease goes in motion, and the Zebras jump. jumped off. Yep. Yep. As Pease went in motion, the right side jumps. So that'll give them five yards. It'll bring up first and five. What was the Warsaw Wabasee score, Val? 28 nothing Warsaw. 21 nothing Winnemac now over West Central. So first and five after. 14-7, Manchester over Whitco. Halderman keeps it. Now he pitches it out to Pease. Pease around the left side. Big flag coming in oh, yeah. for the far back judge. The last time that happened, it was holding. Yeah. And then it yep. is holding. holding. Holding against Northfield. That guy's got must have pretty good eyes. He was about 25 yards deep. Well, I think what's happening is that it's pretty obvious one or the other. They're doing that option, and there's a there's a lineman who's leading that, and he's he's, he's wide open. Yeah, I mean, the whole, you got to keep your it. hands inside. <laughs> so the penalty will bring him all the way back to the 45 yard line, and it'll bring up first and 14. Yeah, right now, or uh, second. Holderman's are leading Russia with five carries for 36 yards. First. Well, you were wrong the one time, remember? We had a discussion. They had five plays that last game. Holderman out to the flat to Fisher. Fisher's going to be hit instantly, and he's brought down at the 45-yard line. And that will bring up second and a, still 14. No gain at that time for Fisher. Great job by the uh, Zebra defense. It did, it did a nice job of, of wrapping him up there and, and let your teammates come over and, and, and help you getting down. 3.05 to go here in the first half. Jaredi's halftime show coming up here at halftime. Under three now to go as Northfield will come to the line. Ten on the play clock. Halderman under center. Pease goes in motion. Rolls to his left. Halderman looking to throw. He releases it, and it is caught. And that is to Pease as he goes as the man in motion. And it goes down to the, about the 34-yard line. It's going to be third and short now for Northfield. And much more manageable than uh, it was going to be if that went in complete. Yep, that's his second catch of the game. You know, for right now he has four, two catches for 43 yards. And he, 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 he had to lay out to get that. That was a good job by him. Third and three now for Northfield. From the 14 nothing Peru over Southwood. 14 7, excuse me. Halderman to Goshert, and Goshert is going to be lost for about a yard, maybe. They're going to give nope. it back to the line no of scrimmage. scrimmage yep. 14 yep. 7. Yeah, right, over. right now, so. both teams aren't finding a lot of success running the ball up the middle. No. So we'll see what the adjustments are at halftime by, by both teams. Well, you, you've kind of seen Rochester kind of make those yeah. in-game adjustments already where we talked about Deming hitting maybe a one hole left yep. than, than he was. We'll wait and see if they move that maybe a little bit more or what they do there. Holderman fourth and four. They're going for it. The handoff comes to this side to Fisher. Mason Fisher is going to be close. Yep, they gave it to and him. And they give it to him. Yep. Right at the 30-yard line, so another Rice-Lincoln first down. With a minute 15 and counting, it's first and 10 now for Northfield. Yeah, Fisher right now has three carries for 28 yards. Zebras need to hold for the another 65 seconds. Wabash 21 nothing over North Miami. Looking to throw, Halderman lobs it over the top to Mason Fisher. Fisher on his horse. Fisher hit a couple different times and finally going to be brought down at, nope, they're going to say he was in the end zone. Touchdown, Northfield. I thought they were going to rule him down at the one, but the official gives it to him. It's a 30-yard pass catch with 47 seconds to go. Halderman to, was that Pease? Uh, Fisher. Fisher, that's right. Holderman to Fisher. 
30-yard pass, and the PAT is on the way. Shaw, the kicker for Northfield. There's a snap, the hold, and the kick is good. 47 seconds to go before halftime. It is now 21 to nothing. As the Zebras, or excuse me, 21-7. As the Zebras will have it here for 47 seconds before the end of the quarter. That was an eight-play, 57, yeah, 56 yards. Eight-play, 56 yards for Northfield, capped off by the 30-yard throw from Halderman to Fisher. And again, with 47 seconds to go here before halftime, it is now 21-7. That scoring drive being brought to you by Rochester Ford, home of the lifetime oil change. Coming up at halftime, we'll have the Dreddy's halftime show, home of the other side grill in Arlington Bank Room. So I hope you'll join us for that. We'll have scoring updates from around the area, and Coach Davis will also have an update on the stats coming up at halftime. Fervita and Messinas is back for the Zebras. They stand at about the 15-yard line. Shaw will get ready to kick off. If you think about it, it all came. We did an onside kick. Yeah. And we thought we had it. Yeah. And how it turns. And could yep. you imagine what would have, you know, the, the momentum swing if the Zebras would have got that, which a lot of people thought they did, including myself. Here's Shaw the kickoff. He's been going to Fervita. We'll see if he goes away from him this time. Nope, going to go right to Fervita. Now a running catch. He catches it at the 22, gets it to the 30. Fervita dancing around, and that's where he's going to get knocked down. Is They're going to give him forward progress to about the 31, 32-yard line, somewhere in there. We'll see where they set it down. Yeah, about a 10-yard. Well, no. Can you put him on the 30? Well, the head official had it at the 30. Okay. The side judge is going to give yeah. him the 31. So about a nine-yard return. Yep. 41 seconds to go. We'll see what the Zebras can drama up here as we head to halftime. Swango will bring the squad set up under center. Deming behind him. Slosher goes in motion. Deming with the ball. Deming out the left side. Deming first down Zebras. That's a Rice Lincoln first down as Deming picks up an 11-yard pickup. I have their, it's unofficial, their fifth. 36 seconds, clock stops on the first down. Now it'll go. Zebras quickly to the ball. Swango up under center. Swango sends Schlosser in motion. Dimming the ball again. Dimming this time going to be still on his feet. Game, yeah. and he's finally going to be brought down to about the 30, or excuse me, the 43-yard line. Second and seven, 12 seconds, and that's going to do it. We will head to halftime on your in your true value scoreboard. Zebras trail 21 to 7 to Northfield. Back with Dreddy's halftime show after this. You're listening to Zebra Football, Giant FM Sports, and RTC TV 4.
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to start here very shortly with the homecoming court presentation. We would now like to present this year's homecoming court. The freshman, sophomore, and junior classes voted for one lady and one gentleman to represent them this evening. Seniors have elected four ladies and four gentlemen to represent their class. The king and queen will be crowned at the end of this presentation. Our freshman representatives are Audrey Bollinger and Owen Layton Walker Prater. Audrey is the daughter of Aaron and Rebecca Bollinger. Audrey enjoys playing volleyball, basketball, softball, and dance. She is currently in Key Club and has been involved in Junior National Honor Society. Her hobbies include spending time with her family and friends, going to the lake, and shopping. In the future, Audrey plans to attend college and possibly play sports and pursue, pursue a degree in the medical field. Owen is the son of Bob and Holly Prater. Owen plays football and basketball. He enjoys beating his brother Hayden in wrestling matches in the living room. His hobbies include hanging out with his friends and his dog, Bindi and Bosco. Owen's future plans include earning academic and technical honors and then attending Purdue University majoring in engineering, our freshman representative. Our sophomore representatives are Katia Andrianova and Alex Demi. Katia is the daughter of Olga and Dimitri Andrianova. She is a member of the track and field team. Her hobbies include drawing, painting, and learning about criminal justice and law. Katia plans to attend Ball State University and study political science. After obtaining her undergraduate degree, Katia plans on earning a PhD in law and becoming a lawyer. Alex is the son of Paul and Angie Demi. He enjoys playing football and wrestling. Alex belongs to the Fellowship of Christian Athletes. His hobbies include being outdoors, studying history, and playing paintball. In the future, Alex plans to pursue a four-year degree while doing ROTC. Alex's end goal is to become a Green Beret. That is our sophomore representative. Our junior representative, Dar Kennedy Jackson and Hunter Campbell. Kennedy is the daughter of Josh and Greta Jackson. She participates in Lady Zebra soccer, basketball, and is a thrower for track and field. Kennedy's future plans are undecided, but we know we can expect great things from her. Hunter is the son of Matt Campbell and Becky and Justin Everett. Hunter is involved, involved in basketball, baseball, and student council. His hobbies include hunting, fishing, going on the lake, and surfing, spending time with family and friends, and working out and getting swole. Great work. Great work, Hunter. If you don't know what swole is due to brevity, I can't explain it to you tonight. Having a good time is always a priority for Hunter. In the future, Hunter would like to attend a college where he can play baseball and pursue a degree in the medical field with an emphasis in sports medicine. Our junior representative. And now for our senior homecoming candidates, our first senior, senior couple this evening is Tiny Houston and Lane Backus. Kylie is the daughter of Karina Lindback and Dustin Houston. Kylie plays volleyball and tennis and is a member of the King Club and National Honor Society. Kylie's future plans are to attend the university and major in either law or computer science. Lane is the son of Eric and Ryan Backus. Lane is a member of Key Club, Student Council, Spanish Club, and a referee for the Fulton County Soccer Association. 
He participates in soccer and track and enjoys concrete work. His favorite class is pre-calc with Mr. Streeton and chemistry with Mr. Lynn. In the future, Lane plans to teach for Teach for Tomorrow for a year, then go to IUPUI or Paul State to become a chemistry teacher and continue on to become a chemist. Our second senior couple is McKenna Kneifel and Dylan Steininger. McKenna, McKenna is the daughter of Beth Kneifel and Clinton Phillips. She is involved in National Honor Society and volunteers at Columbia Elementary McKinney, McKenna's hobbies are painting, spending time with friends and family, working with kids, music, writing, and photography. McKenna plans on attending a four-year online university to pursue a degree in elementary education for her future career as a kindergarten or first-grade teacher. Dylan is the son of Matt and Jenny Steininger. Dylan is a member of the cross-country swimming and track team. He participates in Fellowship of Christian Athletes, Fulton County Youth Leadership Academy, National Honor Society, Student Council, Key Club, and Youth Group. Dylan's hobbies include learning guitar, mechanics, and watching sports. His favorite classes are math and engineering with Mr. Lau. Dylan's future includes graduating from four-year college with a degree in mechanical engineering with the hope of continuing his cross-country running career in college. The next senior couple is McKenna Beal and Kate Haya. McKenna is the daughter of Chris and Kim Beal. McKenna is involved in swimming and tennis. She belongs to the Student Council, Fulton County Youth Leadership Academy, National Honor Society, Mill Creek Youth Group, and Zebra Ambassadors. Her favorite part of school is spending her afternoons at Columbia Elementary in Mrs. Beale's first grade class. In the future, McKenna plans to attend college to swim and major in elementary education. Peyton is the son of Michael and Julie Hyatt. Peyton is involved in cross country, swimming, track, student council, fellowship of Christian athletes, National Honor Society, Key Club, Zebra Ambassadors, Fulton County Youth Leadership Academy, and Youth Group. His favorite class is spending two hours a day at the middle school as an instructional assistant intern for this announcer's favorite daughter-in-law, Mrs. Moore's fifth grade class. Hank would like to continue his running career in college while studying for something in law or elementary education and educational administration. And our last senior homecoming couple is Ashley Hazelby and Marshall Fishback. Ashley is the daughter of Steve and Rachel Hazelby. Ashley is involved in Future Farmers of America, Fort H, National Honor Society, Indiana Equestrian Association, and Europa. Her favorite class is in engineering with Mr. Lowe. Mr. Lau, correction. In the future, Ashley hopes to attend the four-year university and study agriculture, engineering, or agricultural systems management. Marshall is the son of Stacy and Brian Rock and Bill Fishback. Marshall participates in football, wrestling, and track. For the future, Marshall plans on going to college for athletic training. That is our senior representative. That is always been tradition for the crowning of the King and Queen was last year's winners. Unfortunately, they could not show up tonight. We have two special people here tonight for the crowning of the king and queen. For the crowning of the king tonight, it will be Private Gerwin Milner. As soon as we get the safe unlock, we're going to pull the ballot out to see who the winner is.
The homecoming king 2021 is Marshall Fishback. Um, and, and we can't give the ball up and then let them go down scoring and, and get behind by three scores. Here we go. This kickoff being brought to you by Oil Change Express for the carrier your car deserves. And kicking off again is Shaw. Back deep, Fervida Mercinus. And it's going to go to Fervida. He'll take it at the 10. Fervida across the 20. Fervida kicks it up a notch. Now he's across the 30. Now to the 35. Going to be brought down near the 38-yard line. Zebras with some decent field position to start the second half, trailing 21-7 on your in your true value scoreboard. Yep, he did a nice job there. He, he hit that hole, and, and he really uh, exploded through there. Randy Wynn, Ray Davis, glad you could join us here at the Barnhart Field. Coming up next week, it'll be North Miami Warriors as the Zebras will travel to North Miami. And unfortunately, I will not be there. Coach Davis will still be there. And Johnny McCory going to step up and come up to Rochester and take over my spot. So uh, it'll be Johnny McCory and Ray Davis next Friday night from North Miami. Dimming around the left side. Dimming will get brought down about the 45, and I think he went a little bit he further did. out. He hit that tackle gap there, and, and, and I think they saw something up above as, as the game's been going on. So Picks up seven. It'll be a second and three now for the Zebras. That's Deming's longest run of the night. Second. Second. He had a 12-yard run. Okay, he did have that 12. Yep. About the same hole. <laughs> <laughs> second and a three now for the Zebras. The handoff comes to Lunau on the near side. Lunau tries to cut it back up the middle, and he will he fall gets spun forward, forward yeah. for about a yard. It'll be a third and a long two now for the Zebras as they spot it between the hashes. Yeah, Lunau has four, Lunau has four carries for 20 yards. Third and about three now. Two, long three. Long two. Clock rolls, 10.50 to go here in the third. Big third down for the Zebras to keep things alive. The handoff 
Goes around the left side, and that's going to be yep. Deming and another Rice Lincoln first down as he gets to midfield. Big run that time by Alex Deming. Just lowered his head and kept going. Yep. Like I said, they've made that adjustments now. Now we got to see how the, you know, the chess match goes. The defensive coordinator for North, are they, are they going to take their inside linebackers, move them out a little bit, or, or shoot those gaps? Or do, are we mentioning to see how, how the game goes? First and 10 at midfield for the Zebras. First possession of the second half. Swango up under center. Deming behind him in the wing tee. Last handoff goes to McKee. McKee hits the hole. Falls forward, and he'll pick up a bad three. It'll be second down and seven. As the ball now into Northfield territory, sitting at the 47-yard line. Yeah, again there, the, the, middle, the middle linebacker um, for them, number 20. 24, Snyder, he shot the gap on, on this side closest to us and almost got into the backfield. Second and a seven on the 47 in Northfield. Lucinus comes to the near side. Swango up under center. Fervin, it goes in motion. The handoff goes right back up the middle. And Deming will get brought down about the 45, give him two more. It'll be his third and five now for the Zebras. This is a big third down for us. We need to get, you know, get if we can't get the first down, at least get three or four yards to make a decision there in the fourth, fourth down. 22 to 7. Now Peru over uh, Southwood. Third and five. Mancinas comes to the near side. Fervent in motion. They hand off to Deming. He's hitting the backfield. He'll lunge forward and get back to the line that was of that, scrimmage. Yep. And that was the linebacker. He shot yep. the gap because he knew he, he's going to the outside gap, so he shot it. And it'll bring up fourth and five now for the Zebras. Swango comes to the sideline and is talking to Coach Schaefer. Fervent is coming off, so the Zebras are going to go for it. 8.35 to go We're here in the third. Zebras are going to go fourth and five. See if they go on, on, a, on a silent count or maybe even try and draw them off sides. Swango up under center. Quick snap. Goes out. Back, back up the middle, and he's open. And that is a flea flicker. Ludow kicks it back to Swango. Swango dives, and he's going to be stepped out of bounds at the one. They say he steps out of bounds at the one as Lunau got the handoff and then kind of flea flickered back to Swango on the run. How you, you give Lunau 35 how yards? Do you, how do you do that one, Val? You give Lunau 22 yards and then give Swango 22 yards. 22 apiece. Okay. According That's to Val. Lunau and, and Swango? Lunau Swango, 22 apiece for a combination of a 44 yard run. First and Gold Zebras on the one. Swango now under center. Swango to Deming. Deming around the left side and waiting on the signal. Touchdown. touchdown, Zebras. Huge touchdown there for the Zebras. 8.08 to go in the third. Deming with a one yard run. Well, we did what, what we talked about, come out and, and drive down and get a score. Now we've got to make this PAT and then turn on, and our defense has to get a stop. And kicking the PAT will be Parker Wallace. My correction on that, it is 20 to 7, Peru, not 22. And the kick is blocked. Yep, snap was high. A little high snap. So... Uh, 7.39 to go in the third. It's 21-13. Zebras trail in the Inyards True Value scoreboard. Back with more after this. Giant FM and RTC TV4. What do you got, Val?
drive being brought to you by Rochester Ford, home of the lifetime oil change. With 7.39 on the clock, it is 21-13. Northfield over the Zebras. And kicking off again will be uh, Mitchell Schaefer. Mason those, Fisher back deep. The two linemen there for Northfield. The middle is like going, oh, don't kick it to me. <laughs> Schaefer getting ready. I'm going to guess he'll go deep this time. Oh, little well, squib kick, and it's going to be taken by number 35, and that's Turner Stevens. Now the defense needs to stop. Last time they did that, unfortunately, they went down and scored, so we'll see yeah. what happens here. This is, this, is, this is huge for our defense. They must have seen something you know, that they think they can take away from them maybe with, with the adjustments here, so we've got to get a stop here and get the ball back. 7-38, 21-13 on the Inyards True Value scoreboard. Northfield will come to the line. Halderman in that tight formation. He just one yard behind him is Goshert. Sends a man in motion. Alderman keeps it, flips it out this time to Pease. Pease down the sideline. Going to be knocked out of bounds, and they're going to say at the 46-yard line. No, nope, so be short. Yep, short of the first down. It'll be second and short. So eight, picked up eight yards. Eight yards, second and two. Yeah, that was his second carry for 32 yards because his first one was a 24-yard touchdown. Second and short now for Northfield. 7.31 to go as he stepped out of bounds, so it stopped the clock. Halderman up under center. Sends Fisher in motion. Hand off to Gosher right up the middle, and he gets the first down. That's a Rice-Lincoln first down. Ball now sets at the 44-yard line of the Zebras. Yep, you can kind of see what they're doing. They're, they're, they're sticking with their game plan of, of running Goshert up the middle, but then there's times where they're, they're throwing that option in there. And because options have been really good for them, they've been able to – he's done some nice job of, of tonight of, of winning win the pitch it and, and hold on to it. Halderman comes set up under center. I was going to say, they, I saw about three guys move on that one, and it will be as Fisher and Goshert and all started to move. So a five-yard penalty against Northfield. That'll be first down and 15 now from midfield. Yeah, that'd be their sixth penalty of the game for 55 yards. Clock set seven minutes to go here in the third, 21-13 on the Inyards True Value scoreboard. Valley 22 nothing over McConaughey. Valley 22 nothing over Holderman up under center. Sends Fisher in motion. The handoff to Goshert up the middle. Goshert comes to the near side. He's going to be tackled about the 45-yard line. He'll pick up three. Maybe I, yeah, give him four. It'll be second and. I don't have the I don't have the like the time or quarter, but it is Triton ten, North Judson seven. Ten seven, Triton over North Judson. Halderman will come up under center. Halderman keeps it. Halderman turns it up, and he'll be down near the 40. And that'll bring up third down in about eight now for the Northfield Norris. Setting the ball at the 42-yard line. Big third down here for the Zebras to try to get a stop. After that, the yeah, that Triton, kick. that Triton game is 4-18 left in the second quarter because they had that long delay. It sounds like Valley and McConaughey having a long delay as well from injuries on McConaughey's side. P, or excuse me, throws it out to the flat. That is... Can't tell who that was. We'll see as they get up. P's, I believe. Yep, 20, 29 P's. Yep. Three yards. So it'll be fourth and about five, maybe four, for the Northfield Norse. If 
five for seven for 77 yards so far. This is a big. This is this is really big for us. Watch you know, watch him run the option towards yeah. us to the, the wide side of the field here. Up under center, Holderman sends Fisher in motion. They go right back up the middle. I think Holderman kept it, and it's going to be short either way. Yeah. And it's going to be a turnover on downs. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not real sure why he kept it. Yeah. I mean, I, th I think if he would have gone outside, he would have had better opportunity there. But was good for the Zebras to stop that. So a turnover on downs. Nice job by the Zebra defense. And now the Zebra offense, who marched it down the field the last time out, will come back on the field. Well, it's one thing that we kind of talked about here. We, you know, we needed to get a score our first possession, and the defense needed to get a stop here. So we, so far, we're, you know, kind of writing our story here. If we can get a score here, but we'll have to go for two if we do score. Swango up under center, four and a half to go here in the third. Sends Lou now in motion, right back up the middle is Deming. Deming will get across the forty. They're going to mark him about the forty-two, and that'll be a. Seven-yard yeah. seven pickup, yep, second and three. Having for 17 carries for 52 yards. It'll be a second and a three now for the Zebras. Randy Wynn, Ray Davis, glad you could join us here tonight. Swingo. To, or excuse me, that handoff went to Slosher, and then Slosher handed it yep. off back to Deming. Is that Deming or Lunau? Lunau. Lunau, and Lunau cramps up as he gets a Rice Lincoln first down and instantly puts his leg up in the air for a cramp. Yeah, they're kind of running that. They're kind of running that. They're, they're giving it as kind of like a – not. it's not a – I don't want to say a sweep, but they're they're giving it to go wide, and then they, it's a, it's, a, it's a back inside reverse handoff coming back, it's kind of like a reverse counter almost. Yeah. Obviously, they see something with that misdirection yes. type deal that they can uh, take advantage of. And that time they did, as they got another first down now into Northfield territory. Ball sitting at the forty-six yard line. Val just said Rochester count 45 players on the roster, Northfield 31. And I don't think they're all here tonight because it don't look like 31 on that no, side. No, they got some guys not in pads. Handoff is to Lunau. Lunau turns it back up. He's going to be met about the 41-yard line, giving him five. It'll be second and five now for the Zebras. That was Alex Dimming that actually got that. Oh, Dimming. Dimming with a five-yard pickup. Yep, and, and right now... Uh, Alex Deming and Jacob Snyder from, Nor from Northfield. They're getting to know each other very well. <laughs> <laughs> and they're about the same size and yeah. everything. Play comes in from the sideline. 15 on the play clock. Zebras break the huddle. Mancinas comes to the near side. Swango. Now gives off to Deming. Deming around the right side. Deming lunges forward. He's going to be marked down about, about the going to be a little bit short. Yeah. be... Yard or yard and a half I think short. I think it's going to be a yard short. It'll be third and one now for the Zebras. That's one of the first times I think this year that we've seen them kind of pitch that to, to Alex to yeah. get outside. They, it's mainly been handoffs. Well, you've, you've kind of seen they kind of split the back. They're not it's in that like wing split tee. Yeah, it's, it's, now it's, they're it's back a, to the normal wing tee, but yeah. they, earlier it was kind of a split. Swango again to Deming. Deming around the left side this time. He's still on his feet. And he lunges forward across the 30, and that's another Rice Lincoln first down for the Zebras. And Alex Deming now starting to heat up. Yes, he is. And I think, you know, the coaches saw something there to make the adjustments, and they've talked to the linemen on, on how to block, and, and they've been running the ball outside the, the guard gap, and, 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 and they've seen some advantage there. We've got a friend flying around here, Val. <laughs> Ball sitting just inside the 30. Two minutes to go here in the third. <laughs> Zebras have it. First and 10. Swango to Deming. Deming right back up the middle again with a little push from his line, and he'll get down near the 25-yard line, giving five. It'll be second and five for the Zebras. Yep, he's starting to, he's starting to heat up here. He's got 21 carries now for 75 yards. 
Zebras. Second and five from the 25. And I think, you know, with, with them having eight people going both ways, I think they're starting to get, to get tired. Minute 20 in the third quarter. Swango, quick snap, sends Schlosser in motion. Deming gets it again, cuts it back up the middle, and he's going to pick up a couple more. It'll bring up third and about three for the Zebras. 60 seconds remain in the third. Zebras trail 21-13 on the Inyerts True Value scoreboard. See if they run some type of that counter or that counter reverse again. Because they've done a really good job. They use Alex as a decoy, and then they're bringing him back against the green. Kind of the split T now again for the Zebras. And they get him to jump. It'll be yeah. an automatic first down. Zebras on the penalty. Well, right now that gives Rochester five first downs to Northfield's one first down in this half so far. Good hard count that time by Swango. Seventh penalty for 60 yards. 30 seconds remain. Play clock is down to 18. They'll have to snap it, and this will be the last play of the quarter. Swango brings the squad set. Back to the wing T look. Swango up under center. Lou now in motion. Swango to throw it, lobs it up over the top to Slosher. Touchdown, Zebras! Great Swango, call. Swango just lobs it over the top. Nobody going to get that but Slosher, and he does in the end zone. Touchdown, Zebras. His first touchdown pass of the year, isn't it? Second one. Second, second one? one? Okay. Yeah, second Oh, that's one. right. With 8.5 seconds to go in the third, Swango to Slosher. How many yards was that? 17. 17. The going, going for two. For two. Zebras will go for two to try to try it, tie it up. Swango up under center. And now they'll set the offense. And the Zebras will have to burn a timeout as Coach Schaefer not happy. Player's not in the right spot, and Swango had to get him there, and the play clock was down to two. Zebras will take a timeout. We'll keep it here. It'll give me an opportunity to tell you about our fine sponsors all season long. Oil Change Express for the car your, the carrier car deserves. Farm Credit Mid-America, securing the future of rural communities and agricultural. Plasky Memorial Hospital, connecting you with excellent health care providers in your true value. Behind every project is a true value. Ugly Truck Tree Service. No tree is too small or too big. And by Rochester Glass. Supplying glass for every purpose since 1956. Speaking of Rochester Glass, they're the proud supporter, uh, proud sponsor of our player of the game, which we'll have coming oh. up at the end of the contest tonight. So I'd stay yeah. with us. I do. Oh, I just oh. got a Triton score. Triton? Uh, it is 14-10. 11-14 left before halftime, Judson. P-A-T, or excuse me, a two-point conversion now for the Zebras. They give a split. Swango to Deming. Deming right up the middle, falls in. Two-point conversion, good. We're tied at 21. Yeah. Nice job of the line opening that hole because we could see it from here. It opened up really quick for him. Well, so far, it's gone like, like we talked about. 8.5 seconds to go in the third quarter, and the Zebras making the biggest changes right now coming out of halftime, and they have knotted this thing back up to 21. Time now for the scoring drive being brought to you by Rochester Ford. Now, here's the one thing. People say, you know, why are we onside a couple of times? Well, because that stops the... That stops them from getting the ball deep and possibly returning it. <laughs> yeah. Eight plays, 65 yards on the Rochester Ford scoring drive. It goes Swango to Schlosser, finishing off with a 17-yard pass. The two-point conversion by Deming was good, and we are now tied 21-21. Yeah, that keeps the ball out of Fisher's hands, Yeah, it, 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 kicking it deep. 
So, Mitchell Schaefer back on to kick off again. And they've kind of moved it around a little bit. They now have uh, 35. That's Turner Stevens in that front row for Northfield. Schaefer, a little kick, and it'll go out of bounds, and that'll give him the ball at the 40-yard line, right? Yep, he tried to get it, tried to get it up in the air, and then they tried to get Loon out to run down and almost catch it. So it was a penalty for kicking it out of bounds. It should put the ball at the 35. I guess yes. it is. Yeah. Culver 16 to six over Caston. What a back up 35 nothing over West Central. Twenty eight to seven. Manchester leads Whitco. Twenty two nothing Valley now over McConaughey in the end of the first quarter. A lot of delayed and injuries there. A couple of McConaughey players getting hurt. Fisher back to throw. Fisher th and it is intercepted. intercepted. Intercepted by Swango. Aaron Swango with the interception. He throws a touchdown pass and then intercepts a pass. Fisher was Fisher was trying. Yeah, it was, trying it, it, was, a it, was it was a halfback pass. Yeah. And all of a sudden, you feel the momentum swing as the Zebras have it with 1.7 seconds to go here in the third. Zebras will have one play, and then we'll go to the fourth quarter. Swango up under center. Zebras in that split T. The handoff to Deming. Deming. Back to the line of scrimmage, and that'll do it. It'll be second and ten when we start the fourth quarter. At the end of three complete, it's tied on the In Your True Value scoreboard. 21-21. Back with the fourth quarter after this, you're listening to Zebra Football, Giant FM, and RTC TV4. We're back here at Barnhart Field. Zebras will have it second and ten as we start the fourth quarter. Deming with the football, Deming across the 35, still on his feet, crosses the 40. They're still trying to bring him down, and they finally will about the 42-yard line. First down. And a, no. Oh, yeah. They did give it to him. Okay, yep. they spotted it up at the 43. Nice spot by the officials. And the Zebras will have another Rice-Lincoln first down. And I'll tell you the one thing. The, oh, we don't have him on. Oh. We need 55 for them. For us. Okay. I got to look at that real quick. Brady Beck. He pulled on that, and he hit that defensive end and just laid him out to open up that gap. So first and ten. Again, Deming with the football, and he's going to be hit in the backfield this time for about a two, three-yard loss. Yeah, we'll give him two. It'll be second and 12, two-yard loss for Deming. Yeah, right now what they're doing is is they're shooting those two middle line uh, linebackers. They're shooting number 25, Gosher, and also number 24, um, Schaefer. I'm sorry, Snyder. And, and, and they're just shooting the gaps and taking their chances. Swango will bring the play in from Coach Schaefer from the sideline. 11.05 to go in the contest. Tied 21-21 on your in your true value scoreboard. It's been a dandy. Don't go anywhere. Swango. The handoff is to McKee, and he goes the wrong way. As he gets on the other side of the wrong side of the 40, Going to be brought down about to 39. It's going to bring up third and about 14 now for the Zebras. Zebras are going to have to make another adjustment because the Northfield defense is doing something a little different than they were. Yeah. See, that was McKee? McKee. Okay. Clock continues to roll. Tied at 21. Swango up under Simmons. Now we go offset with Deming. Fervita goes in motion. Deming across the middle, up across the 50, 40, down around the 45. Finally going to be brought down around the 34-yard line. Another Rice-Lincoln first down, and they lined him up. They set him up on the far right side, and he took that handoff and just diagonally came across that line and was wide and open. The one thing, the linebackers probably can't see that, but it's almost every time when the Zebras do that, that's where they're going with yeah. it. So it's it's something that the linebacker is kind of hard to see with, with, with the angle with that part of it. 
Now Deming lined up right behind Swango. 119 yards for Deming, and he picks up a few more as he gets another carry. Gets across the 30, down near the 29-yard line. So it'll be about a four-yard pickup. It'll be second and six. As Deming will come out cramping, and that'll bring in number 48. That is Meadows. You know, you kind of you kind of don't think about cramps this time of season, but the zebras have been no, out, out for, for two, two weeks. weeks. So uh, these guys, you know, it's like starting over. They can stretch and cramp out. Well, and it comes down to the individual conditioning at home if, yeah. if, if you can get that done. The handoff goes to Slosher. Slosher from the far side turns it back up, and he'll dive forward. He'll pick up a couple yards. It'll be third and about three now for the zebras. As Deming still on the sideline stretching it out. Clock rolls oh, getting, with 8.45. I think he's getting his ankle retaped. Uh, 21 21. 8.35 to go here in the fourth. Swango up under center. Meadows behind him. Fervita gets the ball. Fervita around the right side. Fervent is going to be close to the first down. He was down. And he was down. Yep. Side judge says he was down. Both side judges are whistling the ball dead. Yeah. And it should be enough for a first down, and it is. Another Rice Lincoln first down for the Zebras. Yeah, there was definitely he was down. That's their eighth first down this half unofficially. <laughs> Clock continues to roll. First and 10, ball sitting at the 24-yard line of the Northfield North. Swango brings the play in. Plenty of time left on the play clock, 20 seconds as they break the huddle. Mencina split to the far side. Meadows behind Swango. Lunau goes in motion. Meadows gets the call. Fumble. And Is there? The, nope, nope, he had it, I guess. He had it. Meadows no. picks up a couple yards. It'll be second. And about eight now for the Zebras. Oh, no, it wasn't pretty. I think he was kind of bobbling Bobble, it as yeah. he went. Yep. Clock rolls, seven and a half to go. 21-21 on the Enrich True Value scoreboard. Randy Wynn, Ray Davis, glad you could join us here tonight on Giant FM Sports and RTC TV4. Second and eight now for the Zebras. Mencina split to the near side. McKee goes in motion. Meadows with the handoff. He used to run hard. Still hits the hole hard, and he's going to be brought down at about the 20. They're going to mark it just inside about the 19. It's going to be inside the red zone being brought to you by Farm Credit Mid-America as Meadows gets a round of applause from the crowd, and coming back in was Deming. Yeah, that was, that was a great – I mean, Meadows came in and did exactly what he needed to do, did, did a nice job blocking, and then also got guys, you know, five yards on two carries there. Third and about five now for the Zebras from the 19. And they do line up Deming again on that right side in the backfield. They fake it this time. They go to throw Swango. Doesn't have anybody open. Swango going to turn the corner. Swango still on his feet. Swango still up. And it's going to be down around a first down marker. He may be a little short. And it is just going to be short. It's going to be fourth and about one now. Nice job by Swango. He went to yeah. turn to look to throw, <laughs> and there was a big old boy coming right at him, and he tucked it, and he turned around the outside corner and still picked up about four yards, and it's going to be fourth and one now for the Zebras. And that's his, you know, that's just Swango and his leadership. <laughs> Samsel goes split to the far side. Deming behind Swango. Swango. The hard snap trying to get off guard, and they can't do it, and the Zebras will take a timeout, and they'll talk about this. Fourth and a one with 5.44 to go here in the fourth quarter. We'll take a timeout as well when we come back. You're listening to the Giant FM Sports, 92.1 WROI. Updates 28 to – or 35 to 7. What was Manchester, Whitco? 35-7. 35-7, yeah. Manchester over Whitco, 26 to 7. Peru over Southwood. Wabash 48 to nothing now over North Miami. 
And here we go. Fourth and a one for the Zebras from the 14-yard line. Swango up under center. Gives it to Deming. Deming's hitting the backfield. It's going to be close. I don't think he got it. Nope. Nope. Did not. They shot the linebackers in that in that A gap. Unfortunately, uh, they knew where the ball was going. And it'll be a turnover on downs. And they'll spot the ball at about the 15, 16 yard line. We'll wait and see for sure. They're going to mark it down at the 15. So the Zebra defense needs a big stop here with 5.38 to go. Aaron, a fourth, tied 21 21. Halderman up under center. Sends a man in motion. Halderman right back up the middle with Gosher. And the Zebra defense will hold him to about a yard. It'll be second and nine. Yeah, he's got um, 12 carries for 31 yards right now. Your leading rusher is Halderman, their quarterback, with uh, seven carries for 43 yards. Second and about nine. Ball sitting at the 16-yard line. 5-10 to go here in the fourth. 21-21. Halderman goes to his left, and he gives it off to Goshert. Goshert will get a first down being brought to you by Rice Lincoln in Warsaw. 250 north across from Walmart. That's our second first down of this, of this half. Keeps the clock rolling, and Northfield now has another set of downs. Yeah, but our, our defensive backs and our, our safety have to stay with their keys. Don't get stuck watching in. Halderman up under center. Sends his man in motion in the near side, and penalty flags fly. It's going to be dead ball procedure against Northfield. It'll be first and 15. So and another penalty? Yep, yeah, eighth, eighth, eighth penalty for 65 yards, and he had some running room. Yeah. Now, I know they, they stopped the play with the whistle, but still, you get the ball in Fisher's hands, and you, 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 he gets on that outside edge. So it'll be first and 15 after they reset. Zebra defense doing some switching around. Halderman up under center. Halderman keeps it, goes from the right – Side and he's going to be brought down just as he crosses the 25. They're going to mark him about the 26. We did a nice job. Swingle came up and took away the the option with the of the pitch and he had to and he had to keep the ball and try and run it himself. They're going to mark it at the 27, so it'll be second and 12. Clock rolls with 3:40 to go here in the fourth. 21-21. Halderman up under center. Halderman pitches it back, and that is to Fisher. Fisher tries to turn it up, and he has hit hard as he tries to, and he'll get back around the 35-yard line. It's going to be about four yards short. No, they're going to mark him shy of the 35. So it's going to be about third and six now for Northfield. Yep. This is big here. 3.05 to go in the fourth. And watch him running the, the option to the wide side of the field towards their bench. Spin man out to the far side. Again, Halderman up under center. Pease goes in motion. The pitch is to Pease. Pease on the left side. Pease tries to stretch it out, and the Zebra defense does a great job and brings him down short of the first down. And it'll be a fourth and long now for Northfield with 235 and counting here in the fourth. This is huge. I'm going to guess they're going to go for it as Halderman runs to the sideline. But you got to remember the last time they did punt, it was by Gosher. Gosher right. was the, the kind of that rugby style. They're still talking about it on the sideline with 10. I'm guessing they're going to take a timeout. Here in an, a few seconds as the quarterback and the coaches are all right by the official, and there's the whistle. Timeout Northfield, 
2-0-2 to go in the contest. 21-21 on the Entrance True Value scoreboard. Back with more from Barnhart Field, Giant FM Sports, RTC TV4. of the Northfield Norse. Randy Witt and Ray Davis. The consensus up here in the press box, punt it. Well, but put, yeah, put it in the Gosher hands. was the one that punted yes. last time, and he did that rugby style. So could be a fake. You never know. We'll wait and see what they opt to do as they come out of the timeout. He's back and there. will be back punt to, in punting formation. And the Zebras don't have anybody back. Now they will send Lunau back. <laughs> As some clock malfunction issues. As now they'll get ready to punt. Gosh, nope, they fake, fake it. They give it to Pease. Pease drives forward, and it will be a first down. That was a direct snap to Pease. He's still going. He's still on his feet. Finally going to be whistled down near midfield. As Goshert was the man back to punt, and Pease was the blocker. And it went to direct snap to Pease, and he picks up a first down and more. Rice Lincoln first down for the Northfield Norris. They're going to mark it at the 49, just shy of midfield. It's a game of trickery it tonight. Is. Trying to get the upper hand as you're tied at 21-21 with a minute 45. Yeah, you got to watch this. They haven't thrown anything deep yet, so you got to safety's got to got to play his role. Northfield quickly to the line. Holderman keeps it on the option, tucks it back up the middle. Holderman still has oh. feet. Fumble ball's loose, and Northfield will fall on it, and they'll get a first down. So close to the Zebras falling on it. Goshert falling right behind Holderman fell on it for Northfield. With a minute and a half to go, you talk about the ball bouncing your way, and it did for Northfield on that time. Yeah, it almost looked like he was trying to pitch it because yeah. his arm came way out. But Northfield quickly up to the line. Minute 15 on the clock. Holderman sends Pease in motion. He gets the pitch. Pease to the near side. Pease stops, tries to turn direction, and finally going to be brought down near the 25-yard line. They're going to mark it at the 26. It'll be second and about four now for Northfield, and they're in hurry up under a minute to go. Zebra defense needs a big stop here with 49 seconds. Holderman up under center. Holderman looks to throw, throws it out into the flat, and it's going to be complete out to Ross, and Ross will get out of bounds and stop the clock with 36 seconds. And another first down brought to you by Rice Lincoln. Dylan Ross, the wide receiver from a junior wide receiver from that left side. In 36 seconds, and it's a first and 10 inside the red zone being brought to you by Farm Credit Mid-America, securing the future for rural communities and agriculture. 21-21 on your Henry's True Value scoreboard. 36 seconds remain. Watch the option coming this way. And we have a timeout, Zebras. Coach Schaefer wants to talk about the options coming out, especially after just seeing that last yeah. pass out into the flat as they brought uh, Ross this time to the near side, kind of the same format they had on the other. So the Zebras want to talk about the coverage and get everything yeah, set to start with with a kickoff return. The Zebras doing a great job here focusing and trying to get this back and have tied it to 21 now to see if they can hold and possibly send it to overtime. Yep, now they have uh, they have Fisher again on that veer on the on the on the opposite side of us to see if they bring him in motion. Ross to the near side. Halderman up under center. Halderman 
Sends Fisher in motion. They go to throw. They throw to Ross, and it's incomplete. Throw it at his feet, and it'll be second and ten now for the Northfield Norris from the 18 of the Zebras. Yeah. 33 seconds on the clock. And he had the inside route. Yeah, he did. He <laughs> throws that, hits him in stride. He's into the end zone. But I think our linebacker kind of stepped in his, in his, in his passing to where he could see where, where to throw that. So. This again, time they'll yeah, bring, they, brought, they brought Fisher in motion yeah. again that last time. They'll bring uh, Dylan Ross again to the near side. Pease comes in motion this time. Goes right back up the middle with, that is, again, Gosher. Gosher got the first down. Gosher, it's going to be close to the first down. They'll whistle it and take a look at it. Northfield calls the timeout before they stop the clock for the measurement. But it's going to be short. It's going to be third and one. Northfield calls the timeout with 23.6 seconds to go. Here at the Barnhart Field. Rainy Wynn, Ray Davis, glad you could join us. Again, 23.6 seconds. Third and one now for Northfield, and they want to talk it over in the Zebra defense. We'll talk it over as well. Don't forget, coming up tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, Coach's Corner. First Coach's Corner in about five weeks that I'll have all four coaches on tomorrow morning. Zebra head coach Ron Schaefer, Culver Cavalier head coach Mike Zayner, Will Porter, the cast in Comets, and John Hendricks of the Winnemac Warriors will join us tomorrow morning. 8 o'clock, Coach's Corner, right here on Giant FM. Third and a one. More than likely, Halderman will probably keep it or go to Goshert right up the middle to try to get the first down. Yeah, because they have a timeout left. They do have one left. Zebras are out of timeouts. Halderman up under center as the whistle blows for the play clock to start. Sends Pease in motion. They fake the throw. Now he goes over the top, throwing up. Touchdown to Pease. Northfield touchdown wide open. Somebody forgot about Pease. He fell down. Fell down. Yep. They almost got to Pease. He was uh, being tackled as he threw it. What yard line was that on? That was on the nine, right? Yeah. Nine-yard pass. Again, Halderman to Pease. They'll go for the PAT with 19 seconds left. Shaw. Attempting the PAT, pees the holder, here's the snap, the kick is up, and it is good. With 19 seconds remaining, it is now Zebras 21, Northfield 28, as the Zebras will have 19 seconds to do something with the football. Don't forget, there was an 85-yard, what was it? 12.85 for Northfield. Took a lot of time off the clock as yeah. well. But you got to remember, if there was an 85 yard kickoff return right. to start the game, we might have one to end the game. <laughs> yeah. yeah. If I just happened to look up on that pass, and it, when he went, I don't know if he, 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 before he threw the ball, I think I saw our outside linebacker slip and fell, okay. and that's why he was wide open in the, in the end zone. Pease was the one that went in motion, and I'm guessing as he kind of cut back, so did the defender, and that's when he slipped. So Shaw will kick off. I'm going to guess he'll kick to Fervita. You might as well kick deep. I don't think you want to no. give him any more than you have to. And he's been kicking the ball about to the 10-yard line. On, on. Yeah, 10-15 depending. Yep. That last time, one of the last couple times there, he did. I remember uh, Fervita got it about the 20 when he started. We'll see what the Zebras can do with 19 seconds to go. Shaw getting ready for the kickoff. Kickoff being brought to you by Oil Change Express. There's the whistle. And the kick is coming. A little squib on the ground, and it'll be taken by Schlosser, and he'll stop it at the 32-yard line, and that's where the Zebras will have 18.6 seconds to try to tie this thing up and maybe take the lead, take the win. If a two-point conversion, if they can get in the end zone. 
Yeah, but and and the bad thing in the situation we're in, we have no timeouts. No timeouts. Uh, so you've got to kind of call a couple thing, couple different things here, and be ready to quickly get back on the ball. And they're in prevent defense. Yeah, but <laughs> look, they're back twenty five yards. Pease is back at about the midfield. The Zebras will have it first and ten at the thirty two. Swango looking to throw. He throws it out to Schlosser, and it's complete at the 35. Oh. But it's not going to be enough, and that's going to do it. Clock will be at 7, 6, 5. They might Down get it. one more play off, and they, it's going to do its last play. Swango goes to throw, and it's intercepted. And he'll just go down, and that'll end the ball game. Your final score tonight, Zebras lose a heartbreaker 28-21 on the In Your True Values scoreboard. Zebras gave a hard-fought battle. They were down from the get-go, instantly 7 to nothing. But unfortunately, you lose it tonight 28-21 on your In Your True Values scoreboard. When we come back, it'll be the Ugly Truck Tree Service post-game show. We'll talk about this game, and we'll talk about the stats when we come back. Again, the final tonight on your Enders True Value scoreboard, 28-21. Zebras lose a heartbreaker. Giant FM Sports and RTC TV 4.